Okay, some teachers refer to multiples of 10 as either tidy numbers or friendly numbers. They're easy to work with because we know 10 times 2 is 20. 10 times 4, 40. 12 times 10, let's have a look at it. 12 times, 12, 10 times 12. We know if we cover up that zero, 1 times 12 is 12. And because we're multiplying it by 10, we add a zero on the end. So we don't just put a zero on the end, we need to know why we do it. And because we're multiplying by 10, we put that on the end. If it was 13 times 10, we know 13, I've got to hide that zero. 13 times 1 is 13. We put a zero on the end because we multiply it by 10, not just 1. It's 130. The reason I'm saying this is when we get situations like uh, make it 19, 19, little tricky, 19 times 5. There's different ways to do this, but if I pretend it, it's not 19, I'm going to pretend it's 20. Pretend it's 20. I might not know 20 times 5, but if I cover up that 0, I know 2 times 5 is 10. And if I uncover that zero, put it on the end because I'm doing 5 times 20. Now, my original question was 19 times 5. So now I have to minus 1 set of 5. I did 20 times 5 to help me get this answer, but then I have to take 5 back off because I'm only doing 19. So my answer would be 95. Let's try another one. 29 times 4. And a friendly number, or tidy number, whatever your teachers refer it to, is a number that ends in 0. The closest one would be 30. 30 times 4. If I cover up that 0, 4 times 3, or 3 times 4, is 12. I put a 0 on the end because I'm doing multiplication of 30 times 4, not 3 times 4, so 120, and then I minus 29 from 30 is 1, jump of 1, but because there's 4 lots that I do, 4 times 1 is 4, so I minus 4, so my answer would be 116. Pretty easy really, isn't it? Yeah.